What's up, YouTube? It's another rainy weekend in Pennsylvania. Seems like it rains every weekend. It's beautiful all week while we're at work. And then it rains on the weekend. But that does give us perfect time to go to the shop and work on the chopper, bobber project. So heading over to help Joel with his Vulcan and uh, see what progress we can get done today. See you over there. Joel, tell the people what you're doing. I'll uh, cut this fender off. We just cut some of the sides off to make it a little bit shorter or narrower. Now we're gonna cut it. So we'll see what we can what we can do with this. Bobbing it more. If we can do something. Ah, uh, we'll figure something we'll out. We'll figure something. Give her hell, buddy. Guys, if you like the content we're putting out, and if you like the builds, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Thanks a lot. Got a hell of a mess over here. That looks a lot better. You can probably even use that flat part for the bottom. Use this as a mounting point. Maybe in here somewhere, and then we can put um, wherever the battery back battery box mounts off of. We can put some kind of plate here to hold the bottom. Yeah. And then we can do that uh, that rounded thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, we were just gonna mount it to the swing arm, so then it floats with the tire. Yeah. So we just have that round thing. We'll mount one bung here one bung here and have that round thing bent up with it so it swing goes with the swing arm yeah so it'll be floating yeah it is nice it's really nice so sand the edges a little bit get it rounded yeah. up even you can sand the whole thing down if you really want to then you can yeah can just clean it up yep how will you fill it yeah they did that with the other one here a little bit of weld, a little bit of sanding, it'll go away. Yeah. It's pretty exciting to get stuff prepped for paint. It's coming along nicely. Getting excited. What's up, YouTube? So, we've been making some progress today on the frame. Cut some stuff off, put some stuff on. We got a support here in the back, capped off the ends where we bobbed it. Joel's working on the fender. We also sprayed the swing arm. And now we just need to get some paint on the frame because I don't think we're welding anything else on it. So we're going to hang it, spray it. Well, we got to wipe it down first, but that's the progress so far. Check back in a little bit. Fresh frame. Fresh frame dreams. And action. So, Joel. Yeah, well, today we did, we made a lot of progress again. Yeah. It feels yeah. like it's going slower than it is. Yeah. When we did the math, we did what? We've been here 12 hours on this bike so yeah. far. Okay. Not including going to pick it up. Yeah. So and that includes a total teardown. Yeah. 
we done much more than we think we have. Yeah, yeah looking good. And we got the frame all welded up today. And yeah, the frame's welded and sorted Joel out. got it painted. Painted it. And the swing arm. Painted swing arm's swing cleaned arm. up and yep. painted. And we got handlebars made. Yep, made our own handlebars. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah, they're gonna be good. A little, a little list here on this path here. The note floorboard. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, the seat. Oh yeah, we yeah. did. We did decide that uh, the seat that he got is like a traditional like Springer seat, and uh, it just doesn't look like with how wide the seat springs are, it's gonna work with the narrow frame. So we're just gonna. Hard mount the, yeah. the seat on the frame, and since it's a bobber and not a chopper, he does still have rear suspension, so it's not going to be a total backbreaker. No, we, we use spring various in the bikes. Yeah, we'll have some suspension. Yeah. Not a and not a spinal, not a spinal destructor. Yeah, and I'm taking the back tire to get a, a tube in it because it's uh, flat. It's flat. They were like brand new tires though, yep. like brand new Dunlops. So once you get tubed in it, it'll be ready to rock. Yeah, and oh. there's a lot of parts coming, still waiting on. Should be here in a couple of days, so. Yeah, the carb rebuild kit. Yeah. Um, the filters for the carb. The, uh, what else do you have coming? Uh, a new chain. New chain, yeah. You got Fork, uh, fork oil. Fork oil, fork seals, handle grips. I didn't order the handle grips. No so, grips yet. No, so too long of a wait. So we're gonna have to go and buy something somewhere else. We still. Yeah. Oh, the risers. Yeah, the risers are coming. Risers, yeah. yeah the so risers are coming. <coughs> individual risers for the the style of handlebar that we we got. Uh, Joel made it work, so we had to get individual risers with no top clamp. <coughs> yep, they're on the way. So it's gonna be coming together yeah. pretty soon, I think. Now that the frame's painted, we just need to uh, build a battery box and a box to hide all the fuses. So yeah, and finish up the, the back fender. Yeah, back fender that we cut off of an old, who knows what fender. Yeah, it was an old banged up fender. Yeah, we managed to make it quite something. Yeah. It's gonna look nice. Yeah. Maybe a little bondo here and there to clean it up, but um that's about it I think for today. About four hours worth of piddling around, but yeah, it's been a good day. Yeah, it's coming together. It's rainy out, so we can't do anything else anyway, so might as well be here doing things to make some progress on the project and I think we'll have Joel. I mean it's May what? It's Cinco de Mayo. It's today, is it? I need to eat some Maybe, tacos. Yeah, you know, need to eat some tacos today. Shit. Some sort of Spanish food anyways. Yeah, so we're gonna go get some Cinco de Mayo in and uh, hope you guys enjoy the light footage today. We were trying to get shit done, so we didn't record a whole lot. Probably like 30 <laughs> seconds of B-roll and three minutes yeah. of us yapping here it's, at the it's end. It's a lot of, lot of BS today, but. The next yeah. video will be more yeah putting stuff together so I mean we're at the point now where it's stuff goes back together yeah so it's just cleaning parts up cleaning up the wiring mess uh, mm -hmm. taking shit off and figuring out turn signals mm -hmm. is the only other wiring thing we have to do but the handles yeah yeah clean up the linkage for the shifter because yeah. I had a lot of slop in it so that's it guys yep yeah. For this week we'll get another uh, episode out next week and hopefully we make some progress putting shit back together so we'll see you then see you guys thanks for watching thank you